Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Red Arrow on the thumbnail news anchor coming to you with some hot, fresh, juicy Word of Tanks news once again. And oh boy, what a video I have for you today, uh, covering six, seven different topics, starting with Bond Store getting finally getting additional vehicles. It has to be one of the most frequently asked questions on the channel. When is Bond Store going to be refreshed or uh, when are new vehicles coming? Are they ever going to add new vehicles? Should I save my bonds? Should I spend them? equipment so many questions finally uh, i'm able to show you the upcoming vehicles if the leaks are true of course then the referral program is back a giveaway winners a new gift tank coming up or most likely a free car slot for many of you uh, then the tier 10 italian tank destroyer minotauro we got a lot more details about that it looks very freaking interesting more about that in a second guys and some other topics so i make sure to add timestamps uh, under the video so you have a lot better ways to navigate around this uh, video today so without further ado let's dive right into the action bond store ladies and gentlemen and this may uh, feel a bit bad for some of you who did spend either a lot of credits or the 20,000 bonds for Fosh 155 because it seems like they're going to add Fosh 155 to the bond store together with KV-5 M41D and also the Panzer Kampfwagen 4 uh, Schmal, Schmalturn, I guess this is how I have to pronounce it, for 5,000 bonds, M41D for 8,000, KV-5 for 8,000, and AMX-50, for 155 uh, for 12,000 bonds, and a bunch of 2D styles as well for uh, 450 bonds. Now, why, uh, guys, uh, why some of you are going to, you know, scratch their head like unlike? Lucky. Well, there is no other way to put it, guys. If you did go for the 20,000 bond offer in this event, as you can see, you know, which, uh, which had the absolutely broken refreshing system, the 75,000 refreshing, getting the same offers, uh, offer after offer after offer. Um, and finally, if you were lucky enough to get uh, the Foch, uh, you had to spend 20,000 bonds for that. Uh, so, yeah, now you can get it uh, with quite a bit cheaper discount. But, you know, on the other hand, many of you are going to be extremely happy who were not able to get it... Um, even after spending, there were a couple guys who spent like up to 10 million credits on refreshes but uh, didn't get Foch 155 or who has uh, not been able to get it from the black market event, uh, uh, which uh, it has been, uh, I think, in twice? Foch 155, twice in the black market event. I remember something like that. First time, 22, 23 million credits. Second time, 25 million credits. If I am not mistaken, once again. Uh, so uh, what can we uh, look out for is a lot of KV-5s in the matchmaking, definitely. KV-5, I would say, is quite a solid pick over here because it has the preferential matchmaking. It is actually quite a quite a solid beast, especially, you know, uh, with some reverse side scraping action as well. And um, <coughs> overall, KV-5 is quite a solid uh, uh, brick fortress on the battlefield. And uh, the other vehicles, M41D actually is kind of a hidden gem, you know, it has the very high DPM, this is the uh, Chinese Bulldog basically, and the tier, uh, tier 6, the Panzer Kampfwagen 4, eh, I honestly do not think much about that, like uh, the price difference is 5000 compared to the 8000, I definitely recommend you to, if, you, if your main goal is to grind credits, Definitely, I do recommend you to uh, save that 5,000 bond or those 5,000 bonds and uh, just uh, gather 3,000 extra to buy a tier 8 vehicle. So, bond store, long-awaited update. When? According to the leaks, guys, it should happen on June 1st. So, it is actually very soon, in five days. In roughly five days, we should be able to get it. If the leaks are accurate, of course. Uh, anyway, moving on to the next topic, uh, quickly before I forget, boom! Here are all the winners from my previous 35,000 gold giveaway I hosted a couple videos ago. All the gold prizes have been sent out, so if you see your name on the screen, congratulations, you deserve it. Uh, go to your server's premium store and accept it manually, because I have to pay for those, I have to manually send them out, and 
and you have to manually accept them and it is not wargaming who is sending out the gold it is me and uh, me alone uh, so please do that um, before the 30 days runs out uh, there have been a couple locations where uh, winners do not accept your gold and i received the gold uh, to my main account which i honestly do not need or want i want to give it to you guys so please do that and congratulations if you didn't win guys unlucky but many 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 more giveaways uh, to come in the future simply stay tuned subscribe hit the bell notification and you are good to go quickly another uh, topic to cover over here i'm really bad at selling out turns out because uh, it is over a week ago when they made his article personalized content creator bundles don't miss his unique offers for the first time ever after 10 years of playing this game world of tanks actually offered us uh, many content creators over here as you can see in the list offered us to uh, basically make our own bundles from the list of items we had uh, available to choose from and uh, yes guys we are over here as well yes me and you why i say we because you can see if i scroll in a bit beast logo on the chest that means you this is actually representing you as you remember when i made this new clan not clan uh, this new channel icon uh, you guys are represented because you know beasts anyway I was able to make three different bundles and let me introduce those bundles to you and as you can see with every single bundle there is a tip to us as well 5% tip, 7% uh, tip and 10% uh, tip from the large bundle. Uh, the smallest one is kind of a uh, weekend bundle, as I like to call it, a weekend bundle with three premium days, uh, with uh, 10 personal reserves as well. This is very unique offer actually, because on EU server they almost never sell those things uh, separately uh, or at all, basically. Uh, for example, Taki and Skill have it uh, separately as well, so this is very good offer, I would say so. I added uh, premium days to it and uh, wanted to call it a weekend bundle. Premium days and my favorite style from the list as well, Kimono style which is my uh, one of my favorite styles overall in this game and very happy that um, i was able to add it uh, because it has a lot of estonian vibes to it uh, the color scheme uh, the overall design i really do uh, dig it um, i have a couple of them picked up from different events uh, so we can bundle the smallest one over here then the medium tank i picked the best medium tank from the list basically lance and see i really do like this tank as well quite a bunch of gun uh, for its uh, tier premium tank makes you good credits uh, plus 30 days of premium time on the side and uh, 10 personal reserves uh, credits for one hour and adastra style so kind of a medium bundle uh, with a, a little uh, medium tank and the largest bundle i believe i i have the only bundle on the eu server at least although those offers are available on the NA's premium store as well. Uh, greater, at least I was over there, skill and QB as well, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I think I have the only bundle over here on the EU at least where you can get two premium tanks in one bundle. So more SM and TS5 and of course the credit boosters as well because those are rare as I said and nothing else. Uh, those two tanks uh, by far were the best uh, tanks uh, for beginners and for advanced players as well actually. Uh, DS5 is such a beginner friendly tank destroyer but you can just do heavy slapping if you are uh, more improved. Definitely one of the best tanks uh, to choose from and so more SM is I would say one of the best entry auto loading tanks in the game and it is a premium tank it is going to make you some credits as well. Uh, five shells in the magazine 1500 clip damage it is actually the armor is quite trollish you know it looks like 5100 uh, but uh, the armor is actually made out of something much stronger so quite a nice uh, thing if you do not have premium tanks want to pick up something which is uh, beginner friendly a user friendly matchmaking friendly you know those tanks can handle almost uh, anything in the game and you know uh, doing that a little bit for us as well there are other bundles as well as you can see from other content creators check it out in the premium store uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen next up a quick reminder that prime gaming is back uh, with a new commander free stuff is 
free guys after quite a long break actually since the previous package but now it is back uh, available from May 24th through June 21st now this is uh, the definition of free stuff is free if you have Amazon Prime already and have linked your accounts uh, if you haven't done that uh, in the article there is a uh, little um, the tutorial as well to relink your Amazon accounts and you are able to simply claim free stuff if you have it going on already if you have done that before just a quick reminder for you uh, this commander is always very valuable it comes with two or three skills already researched or trained up uh, so you need commander and then some decals uh, day of premium time always useful five missions for x5 experience when victorious very helpful for grinding through deck trees or uh, field modification up your vehicles and uh, set of missions as well you also get uh, rental premium tanks from that which is very useful especially right now during the frontline game mode uh, renegade lance and sea i don't remember if you're able to pick one or all of them if one you know renegade lance and sea both very nice thanks i like them a lot type 64 80 15a as well and also you get missions which are going to give you some extra goodies on the top of that uh, some boosters uh, consumables as you can see more boosters and more consumables with 10 missions for x5 experience like 15 uh, missions with x5 experience in total uh, grinding from tier 8 to tier 9 is going to just you know sneezingly easy basically and uh, here are all the vehicles once again the tutorial this is just the definition of free stuff if you have uh, your amazon prime linked up to world of tanks and if you have amazon prime link it up to twitch prime as well you are able to farm drops while watching and you are able to subscribe to your favorite streamer why not ladies and gentlemen tune in twitch.tv slash games most likely we are live right now as well that's all prime gaming is back don't uh, don't sleep on it guys free stuff is free next up referral program also is back uh, you know if you if you have a friend you would like to invite it gives you a special link uh, for your account you can uh, invite your friend back into the game who has not played the game or touched the game for 30 days i believe was the cooldown or 60 days or a brand new account as well and uh, commander is going to get some rewards and also the recruit is going to get some uh, free premium tanks commander as well free premium tanks on the top of that uh, bonds yes of course everybody would love to get some bonds commander gets the bond and recruit gets some uh, free uh, premium days and also if you guys platoon up together the bonuses are going actually quite uh, crazy uh, for a recruit you can see for playing in the platoon with their commander plus 100% to experience and credit boosters tune up uh, sign up with your friends and uh, you know commanders uh, many people always ask which tanks should i pick uh, from the list which is the best i would say this is not the best in nowadays meta the t92 is okay a light tank patriot you can get that from the bond store actually so i don't think you should waste it over here although patriot is quite nice t54 is very nice and sda2 after they buffed it is also very nice uh, from this list i would say d3485m if you are a new player in this game uh, d3485m is one of the better tier 6 tanks to learn the game with i would say so uh, but you have a tier 7 to pick um, up here as well which is going to make you some more credits uh, so uh, referral program back in action but moving on next up let's talk about some new vehicles coming into this game first up a tier 2 premium tank i guess the 26 c and the chinese d26 which most likely for most of us is going to be simply a free garage slot right because it is a tier 2 vehicle maybe after you know they give it out as a gift uh, you are going to play a battle or two to see the matchmaking completely filled with with the 26s in tier 2 and uh, it is after that it is either going to be sold or is going to sit in your garage as a collector vehicle because you know what else do you have to do with this tank it doesn't have anything special to offer it doesn't make you any credits uh, whatsoever it's hard to train crew members it's slow you know it's just a tier 2 most likely a free garage slot incoming ladies and gentlemen uh, which uh, cannot be said about our next new tank I'm able to share with you contro carro uh three how is free in italian help me out guys in the comments please uh, minotauro well minotauro is going to be the main name of this vehicle as the rhino um 
has the main name, you know, what you are watching on the background right now. Quite a nice battle. Uh, Contro Carro, so this is the tier 10 Italian tank destroyer, which uh, I have already heard so much feedback about that. Many people think it is going to be very strong, and uh, some people think uh, it is going to be quite weak. Uh, I'm somewhat in the middle because... Um, we, uh, this is a type of tank we need to see in action, we need to play on the battlefield because it has such unique uh, uh, firepower mechanics or unique uh, firepower mechanics. It comes with an autoloader, yes, with 530 alpha damage or 700 with high explosive, 255 penetration with AP round, which is the standard round, 345 with premium heat and 130 with high explosive. This high explosive is actually quite a nasty penetration. I have to say so auto loader with five shells in the magazine right guys 24 second reload time for the full magazine imagine you know if it would be any other auto loader five shells 24 second reload time for the full magazine 530 alpha damage 2650 burst damage crazy right but no this tank has the reload time between shots of eight seconds and his eight seconds if you still do not know that is the 8 seconds you cannot boost any other way. With rammer, with uh, uh, brothers in arms, with ventilation, this uh, reload time between shots is always unboostable, basically. What you can boost is the reload time of the full magazine, 24 seconds. And this is what makes this tank so freaking intriguing and interesting, actually, and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it. I want to test it out, because... Um, there are so many situations where this is absolute beast, where, where this is going to be absolute beast. You have 8 seconds, 530 alpha damage, right? Enemies can count your shells, you know, this guy's fired 2 shells, you know, backing up, uh, another shell taken, 3rd shell taken, over 1500 damage done already, 1590 damage done already, and now you can start bluffing, you know, you can start bluffing, peeking, but actually while you're reloading, there's quite a quick 24 shell reload, and after that, after taking 1 or 2 shots into anything in this game, and full reloading after that you can one clip any tank in this game even mouse is going to be clipped out um, without any issues whatsoever you have the penetration to do that uh, gun handling well from close to mid range you definitely have uh, the gun handling to back it up as well 0 0.44 accuracy uh, 2.3 second aiming time aiming time is nice uh, nice accuracy is quite meh so definitely this tank is going to be uh, mid uh, or close to mid range uh, brawler 100% because the armor and the entire tank design is actually quite um, quite nasty, right? Minus 10 degrees of gun depression, guys. 20 degrees of gun elevation. Uh, traverse angle, so it doesn't have... It has a turret, but not fully rotatable turret. It can only uh, turn 45 to the left and 45 uh, degrees to the right. So not even fully to the side. Uh, like uh, the FE-45 was able to do back in the days, I think. Not fully rotatable turret, if you remember. <clears throat> and also 50 shells in the magazine. Mobility. I was honestly... Uh, afraid or expecting a bit diverse mobility but uh, this is you know nothing to brag with but not the worst one i have seen 36 top speeds 12 moving backwards 700 horsepower engine 12.2 power to weight ratio 24 uh, degrees per second hull rotation speed 18 degrees per second turret rotation speed now that's uh, quite bad right 24 hull rotation speed is quite bad but now because this tank is auto loader right it cannot carry, it cannot even carry the tank on rammer. So you do not have to worry about equipping tank on rammer on your vehicle. What you can replace it with is easy turbo, you know, just to make it going over 41 kilometers per hour, actually. So the mobility with turbo, bon turbo, especially, or, you know, um, a bounty turbo, I wanted to say, actually, uh, is going to be very nice guys on this tank if you if you think about that you don't have to worry about rammer just slap turbo on it to make the mobility even more enjoyable right so mobility uh, i expect it worse honestly survivability here is where it is interesting guys 2100 hit points right 300 Hull armor in the front, 75 on the sides, 45 in the rear. Turret, 375, 50. 
view range uh, 390 meters, singular range 745, who cares meters, and commander, gunner, driver, and loader, four crew members in this vehicle. AP, heat, and high explosive rounds. This is Controcaro 3, Minotauro, aka simply Minotauro. Uh, guys, if you look at this vehicle, how it looks like, right? The gun is super frontal placed. It doesn't have the me turreted tank uh, uh, where the turret is in the middle, not in the back. The gun is quite uh, smoothly going over into the upper plate. Minus 10 degrees of gun depression, you are able to do some crazy reach line actions with this minus 10 degrees of gun depression and how the hull and how the entire vehicle is shaped. You know, you are able to beat down the reach lines, uh, over the reach lines, without even revealing a lower plate slightly. And you have such a angled turret armor as well, which seems to have some weak spots on the top of the turret, but once again we have to play, we have to see the full values, I want to see the 3D armor model uh, to come up with my final uh, opinion about this, um, because it is definitely going to introduce something new. It has the auto-loading, it has the old auto-loading system, but uh, nothing like we have ever seen. Auto-loader which plays like a cyclic gun, a cyclic single-shot gun, 530 Alpha, 8 second reload time. So, what do you think about this vehicle? What do you think about all the other topics covered in today's video? Hyped about Voyage 155 in the Bone Store, KV5, M41D? Let me know in the comment section down below, or are you sad uh, to see Voyage 155? in the bone store now with 12,000 price tag if it ends up being over there and if the leaks are uh, accurate enough much love stay awesome uh, stay safe stay beautiful day care and buy and enjoy life as much as this t95 is doing in the beach with its new upcoming style